After Unity's stupid runtime fee debacle in 2023, I finally had enough of Unity's constant BS and decided to learn Unreal Engine. In the past 8 months I have made several smaller projects, learned a lot and I am finally getting used to the engine and the workflow. Then suddenly... Hi everyone, I am Bence and I have less than 2 months to learn Godot. Hold on, why do I need to learn Godot? Why do I need to learn anything anyway? I know Unity, now I am getting better in Unreal, so for me learning a new engine is pointless, right? Especially Godot. I mean, I am not really a fan of GDScript. I need my curly braces and semicolons, thank you! I am not telling anything revelatory when I say that the game engine is just a tool. It does not really matter which one you use, you can make games with all of them. However, just as two hammers can differ greatly, so do game engines. You will not use a large hammer to hit a small nail, and you will not use a small hammer to demolish a wall. You can, sure, but you will have a hard time. You need to find the specific tool for the job. Since 2017, I participate in the different events of the Hungarian Talking Society. The largest event is always the summer camp. It is usually 10 days long and has over 100 participants. In the camp we do a lot of creative things, for example I usually participate in creative writing. In this year the organizers asked me if I wanted to lead a workshop of my choosing during the camp, and I said yes. My first idea was creative writing, but someone has already planned a workshop around that, so I needed to choose something else. And I realized, hey! I can make a workshop about game development. I know I would have loved to participate in a workshop like this, and I can definitely teach the basics. Naturally, in order for the workshop to be useful for the participants, they need to be able to try out what I teach, they need to experiment, ask questions, receive feedback. And here come the problems. Not everyone understands coding. Not everyone has powerful laptops. The camp will be in a forest campsite, so internet might not be available all the time. Unreal is good for people with no coding knowledge thanks to the blueprint visual scripting, however Unreal is very resource hungry. Unity has less hardware requirements, but the installation size can still be large, not to mention it needs a separate code editor. And C Sharp, while not a difficult language, can still be hard for a complete beginner. I needed an engine that is light weight, does not require any additional software, has an easy to understand coding language or visual scripting, and maybe this is the most important, it needs to be widespread enough that if the workshop participants decide to continue game development on their own, they can easily get help online. What is the game engine that fulfills this criteria? Of course, it is Godot. Even with the export tools, the engine takes up less hard drive space than a gigabyte, so even if there is no internet connection in the camp, I will be able to distribute the engine using a USB stick. It runs on older hardware, has a built-in code editor, uses GDScript, which is an easy language, and is currently one of the most well-known engines out there. That is why I will be learning Godot in the following months. I should be able to pull this off, but it will definitely not be easy. I have already completed Brecky's tutorial as an engine. Point. Of course, my next few Game Jam games will also be done in Godot. I will also need to develop a plan for the workshop, how and when to introduce new concepts, what game mechanics to teach, and so on. I am a bit afraid, but also excited. Wish me luck, I guess? If you want to see how fast or slow my progress will be with Godot, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to know more about the Game Jam series for which I will be making my next few games with Godot, check out the videos on this playlist. Thank you very much for watching this video, like it if you liked it and subscribe for more. See you in the next one, bye!